This video will serve as an introduction to the different types of intermolecular forces. Before we look at the different types, let's answer this question. Which one of these doesn't belong with the others and why? So here's a list of atoms and molecules. What I'd like you to do in just a moment will be to pause the video and consider each one of these and then decide which one doesn't belong and why. So go ahead and pause the video now. Well, hopefully you concluded that H2O is the molecule that doesn't belong. The reason being is that water is the only molecule in this list that's a liquid at room temperature. All of these other molecules and atoms, well, they're all similar in size, they're all similar in molar mass, it's just that all the other ones are a gas. The reason why water is a liquid is because water exhibits strong intermolecular forces. So before we go any further, let's do a quick review. Intramolecular force. Remember that intra is a Latin word and it means within. So an intramolecular force is a force that exists within a molecule. We've already studied those this year. Those would be like ionic bonds and covalent bonds. Here's an example. This here, this is a force that exists within the molecule. So that would be an example of an intramolecular force. Now, in this unit, we're not going to be studying intramolecular forces. We're going to be studying intermolecular forces. We have already studied intramolecular forces in the past. So if we drew a Vesper structure for water, you know what looks like this, where oxygen's partially negative, hydrogens are partially positive. Now, this partially positive hydrogen will be attracted to this partially positive oxygen. So there'll be a force that exists between these two molecules. The force that exists between molecules is called the intermolecular force. And its word is derived from the Latin word meaning between. Just like the interstate takes you between states, an intermolecular force is a force that exists between molecules. So in this, in this video and in the following videos, we'll be studying intermolecular forces, forces that exist between molecules. Here's just a, a brief intro. Intermolecular forces, or sometimes called IMFs, are also called van der Waals, so you may see that term as well. IMFs are only about 1% as strong as bonds. And you know that bonds are the intramolecular forces. So if we had a covalent bond or an ionic bond, that would be significantly stronger than an IMF. So IMFs are proportionally very weak compared to bonds. There's three types of IMFs that we're going to look at in the next videos. There'll be dipole forces, hydrogen bonding, and London dispersion forces.